All right, guys, so this is our third day of our kayaking trip here with Canadian Prepper, and we are on the... It's the Saskatchewan River after the two uh, rivers, north and south, intersect. So we passed the forks. Now it's just the Saskatchewan River, so it's nice, fast-flowing water. Maybe Lily wants to pan just so you can see the water, how fast it's moving. Yeah, it's, it's really fast. It's probably hard to see on camera, but it's actually pretty strong current and yeah. it's very one thing I've learned on this trip is that uh, if you have to stop in a river like this it's not as easy as you think because you yeah. can run your boat into the rocks pretty easily so mm. we're, we're kind of novices but we're learning and it's a good old time I tell you we're having a really good time so yeah, yeah. so today I'm going to try some fishing as well this is my uh, fishing rod and I set it up with this lure so let's see if I'm lucky. <laughs> She's gonna catch a big fish with that. <laughs> the fish here, even the little ones, they, they attack anything. Whoop. Especially those pike. It's going to be an awesome day. I'm glad that it's not raining today. Yesterday I had a miserable day. I was way out of my comfort zone. I was really cold. My feet were cold. It was windy, rainy. So today is going to be a much better day. I hope I catch a fish. Let's see. fishing lure and my fishing line because the fishing rod somehow it got entangled with a stone and yeah I didn't notice and it was unraveling the fishing line and then it snagged and now I don't have a fishing rig anymore <laughs> uh, yeah pretty unlucky but that's how it is the river here is really deep but sometimes stones are sticking out and you can't really see them because the water is so murky. So I hope that Nate has a better luck with fishing. There's a deer right here. We went pretty far today and now we are going to search for a camping spot. All right, we found our camping spot. It's a small like gravel beach and actually we have a source of water running water so it's really nice we are going to stay here tonight where do you think you would set up up there yeah I think this side is maybe... That side's a little higher, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we want to see what's in here. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's clay. Yeah. We want to make a pot. We could try to make a pot. Yeah. Mm.
Sí. Nice. It's okay, we're coming back. It's a really nice spot, I love it. Yeah, it's perfect. Cool. Really nice. Woo. It'll burn all night. I think I can lift it. No? No. Oh, uh, why do you always give me a challenge? <laughs> I don't know if I can lift it either if it's petrified. Yeah, maybe down. only one side at a time, but. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so strong. Canadian Arnold Schwarzenegger is lifting some logs. I'm removing the branches because I don't want to injure myself. This here is where the top goes and it has to be really smooth, otherwise you get a hole into the top. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I love them. I think they come from the dinosaur age or something. Yeah, they haven't changed in like 50 million years. Just like crocodiles. They don't evolve. They're perfect. Yeah. But I think they shrunk quite a bit. Yeah, like all insects. Yeah, so this is my stealth shelter for tonight. It's looking good. I have a little bit of a gap here, but that's all right. So I don't think we will have a lot of rain tonight. So I think the shelter is fine. Nate has set up his tent and pretty soon we are going to make a fire.
That's better. All right, I cut off this lock and now the gap is a little bit smaller. That's better. On this beach, there are a lot of dragonflies. It's so many. I think I'm going to call it here the dragonfly beach. <laughs> What's up, Marshall, huh? Do you want to go hunt them? Nice. Jeez, you might just convert me yet. <laughs> Bushcrafting. Maybe tomorrow I'll be sleeping in your shelter, you'll be sleeping in my tent. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Time to eat something. I have this fake couscous. It's made from a blend of corn and rice. It's gluten-free and really healthy. And you can make it pretty quickly. You just need some warm water and it takes five minutes to just soak the water. Okay, my friends. So it's pretty late now, and we soon will go to bed. We had an amazing day. Everything is perfect. Perfect weather. Right? It was. 
Unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish. I lost a lure or two. <laughs> Bad luck. Maybe tomorrow we will have better luck with the fish. The river is going to open up tomorrow, so I think it's going to get bigger. There's a place up ahead that I have a good feeling about. So lots of creeks intersecting the river, so that's usually a good place to find fish. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so we are hearing some kind of barking over there and we are not sure if it's dogs or if it's coyotes. It's dogs versus coyotes most likely. Yeah. Somebody's dog versus the coyotes. We're by a native reservation here and there's always lots of dogs on the res and uh, they tend to go at it with the coyotes. So, mm -hmm. so maybe they have a fight right now. <laughs> yeah. Square it off. Yeah. But I think we'll be fine. We yeah. got Marshall. We got Marshall. Yeah. He's going to defend us. Even though he wouldn't know what the hell to do against Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold. I have to get in my sleeping bag quickly. God, he just made my sleeping bag dirty. You stupid dog. You stupid. Okay. I'm in my cozy shelter. Unfortunately, the dog jumped onto my sleeping bag and made it dirty. <laughs> well, at least I'm warm. So, have a good one and we see each other tomorrow. I hope I'm not freezing tonight. <laughs> it was really cold in the night and the dog came back and he slept with me in the shelter but he also made a mess look at the dirt it's really dirty now because of the dog. <laughs> what a mess. Look at this mess here. Everything dirty.
All right, guys, so I have to end the video here. This is the end of day three, overnight number three. And so far it has been pretty good. And today it's really warm and I really appreciate the sun. So yeah, if you're interested in the next part of our overnighters, of our tour, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also to Nate's channel. And if you're interested in getting this knife here, you can find it in my web shop. The link is in the description below. Stay tuned till next time.